What's going on? Uh, my name is Jay Robinson. I'm a writer. I'm a college student. I'm an influence, I would like to believe. <laughs> and um, I I'm from Harlem, New York. It was a long time ago when I first started realizing that um, that potential I have some potential writing skill was like a long like in middle school when um, I found myself for some reason enjoying like whenever we used to write poems or had to write essays or anything like that. But I didn't really truly consider it then. Um, it was just always there because I for some reason I was I was just always good with computers and I always, for some reason thought that computers would be the way to go for me. But I found out in college differently. When I first really started considered writing was probably about a year ago um, because because of my friends uh, really uh, there's always been like this this healthy competition between me and my friends at least for me because um, because in high school between all me and all my friends they we used to always do this thing like um, after every market period we uh, we compare like who has, who has uh, the better average, who has the highest average, and everything like that. And it wasn't. I don't know if for if the, for them they were always uh, they were always com competitive like that. But for me it was because these were people that that I respected and these were people that I loved so, back then in high school and everything. And and I was like thinking like I don't want to be the lowest guy with the low, the guy with the lowest GPA. And five or six years later, we all growing up. And I find myself in a room sitting around the very same friends that I still respect and the same, very same friends that I still love. And it got to the point where like, I was seeing all my friends, like they all had an idea of what they wanted to do. And they, some of them already got their feet wet of what they actually did want to do. And they were talking about, oh, how are you going to go about doing this? Or what exactly do you want to do? And we were just all talking about it. And at the time, I found myself like, just thinking, like, uh, wow, I, don't, I wish I had that. I don't, I don't have that honestly and um, that day specifically that's when I was starting thinking to myself like I, I really got to find something that I really want to do and luckily I found it real quick and it was kind of always been there and I went to it and it was, it was writing but it, it wasn't strictly just writing I wanted to do something more with my writing I wanted to specifically help people and be a servant to people so about a year ago <laughs> to put it to put it short it was where <laughs> I think it's a little late for that. Yeah, <laughs> but but it, it, I had to give the background. I have no, to give the background. It's, it's okay. I'm just gonna keep writing. Uh, I'm gonna do the best I can to keep writing, keep reaching out to people, and sharing my opinions and sharing my experiences with everybody who I can, and hopefully, hopefully, it helps some some people along the way. Whether it helps them with their day, with their week month or whether it's like a turning point in their life hopefully it helps them in some way and some something they could pick from it and hopefully they stick with me you know and they could say like wow Jay was you know really helpful to me and, and what he said and I really appreciate that and that, that's something I would I would really like so I, I'd hope that's how I'd hope to accomplish that yeah because um, up until that point of the story that with my friends that I was just telling you about I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life, and that's, you know, that's a very scary thing at, at one point or another to, to not know what you're gonna do with the rest of your life. That, when you're young, that's all fine, but there comes a, there comes a point where you're gonna come into a crossroad, and it's either you're gonna live this type of life, which is like a mediocre, average life. You know, nobody wants to, nobody should be satisfied with being average. And and there's the other path where you're gonna live the life that you want to live, and you're actually gonna do it. So on a personal level, it did help me a lot because I actually found something that I wanted to do, and it's, it was it was great for me to find to find something that I can actually say I, I want to do this for the rest of my life, or I want to do this um, with my life. I want to dedicate my life to this. So, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> listening is crazy essential to communicating with somebody. That that's how you. That's how you get your point across. That's how it's it's very important. Like for me, like my part, what makes up me as a person is not just like what I see all the time. You know, it, don't get me wrong. It's mostly that. The majority may be that, but also a big part of me is also what I 
see from other people, what I hear from other people, like the opinion of other people, um, their thoughts, their experiences that I bring into my own personality and I bring into my own belief system and I incorporate that into myself and that makes who I am. So yeah, listening is very important. Uh, fairly important. I'm not gonna say it's, uh, I'm not gonna say it's vital. You can't be a writer without experiences, but uh, it gives you, it gives you a nice, uh, I'd say it gives you like a stronger perspective on things to have experience and what you're talking about. Um, sure, I guess you can go and get the, you can be maybe just as effective if you read about it, but uh, I don't think it's all on experience. I, fairly important, but not like that. Favorite thing to write about? Probably probably about the individual and um, and and inspirational things if I can like trying to inspire people um, to just do something um, because I was in that situation like a year ago where I didn't want didn't know what to do and like I said I wanted to help people any way I can but definitely my favorite thing to write about is the individual I'm very big on that I'm very big on uniqueness um, very big on what everybody has to offer like I'm very interested in the fact that everybody, every single person on this earth has something different inside them that's, you know, that nobody else has and, and I <laughs> love that so uh, very much and I love writing about that. Do something, smile, <laughs> and live. Uh, you gotta, you, uh, you gotta always do something, you know, no matter what it is, no matter how minuscule you, you think it may be, you know, try and always do something of slight, you know, uh, relevance because if I could go back and tell my thing, tell myself, my previous self, anything, I would tell myself to try and do more things, try and be more productive and uh, and not waste so much time. Um, not that I wasted that much time, but God, <laughs> but um, smile because there's a lot of stuff going on in our world and it, the people beat themselves up over things that are not really necessary um, that really shouldn't be something that should be beating yourself up about um, smile have a good positive attitude on, on the things and and always remember to live because there's a difference between just going your going through life day to day just doing the normal things and there's and doing something you actually want to do and living your life how you want to live it because <laughs> nobody can tell you otherwise it's your life you can do whatever you want to do with your life Feel me? <laughs> I think everybody felt that one. That was good.